Today on the channel, we've got the Wolfman from the Universal Monsters NECA collection, and we got a special guest, my dad. Welcome everyone, Kyle here. Welcome back to the channel for another NECA Universal Monster unboxing and review. And today, we've got an old friend, not my dad, the Wolfman. But my dad is also here as well. Dad, say hello. Hey, hello everybody. Glad to be here again. Thanks for coming back to the channel. And I said to myself, there's nobody else that could do this. Yes, you could do a great Warlord uh, unboxing and review, but obviously you're the guy that got me into the Universal Monsters when I was a little kid, so you've got a history with the Universal Monsters. I thought it'd be great for you to come on the channel here and uh, talk a little bit of the Wolfman with me. So, Well, yeah, the, um, the Wolfman goes back to the late 1930s, I think. These movies... Uh, at least the most recognizable ones, Dracula and Frankenstein, were like 1931. Uh, before that, you had some pictures that were not non-talking, like the Hunchback and uh, the Family of the Opera, Nosferatu. And uh, but that led into 1931 with Dracula and Frankenstein. Led into a whole uh, series of movies and sequels that went right up to like 1948. And in the capper was Abbott and Costello meet. Uh, Frankenstein, and, and in that movie you had all the original characters, although uh, Boris Karloff did not play Frankenstein. That was done by Glenn Strange, who was just as good a Frankenstein. He looked like the iconic Frankenstein, <laughs> and uh, later made fame as the bartender in Gunsmoke. Oh, who know? If you didn't know that. But I guess as far as I'm concerned, uh, for whatever reason, I'm in 5th and 6th grade, 1963, 1964, and there was a whole resurgence of interest in these movies and uh, later later figures because they were on they were in the movie theater way when they came out and then back when you got into them they started to be on TV yes and that's how you saw them we had uh, what would be the forerunner of Sven Gulli today Sven Gulli is a national program now but we a lot of different uh, uh, viewing areas had their own local celebrities that did a, a sort of Svengulli like program where they dressed as characters, they appeared in the commercials, they did little skits, uh, they gave you the history of the film and whatnot. And we had our own, it was called Graves End Manor, which had Malcolm the Butler and Claude the Idiot and the Duke, who was a Dracula <laughs> figure. And uh, you can still see them on YouTube today. There's one clip that shows them. Uh, uh, today, but it, it ver looking back, very corny, very uh, Pratt fallish, but uh, but it got the job done. Well, and it's so funny the Universal Monsters back in the day, how scary they were to some people. Where my daughter Elle, for example, I remember watching Dracula with her when she was like five or six, and she was not scared at all. Where your sister or my aunt Jeannie, of course, she was deathly afraid of the Universal Monsters when she was little. So it's crazy how. Times have changed, I guess. Well, yeah, but those movies left so much to your imagination. You didn't see any blood yeah. and gore. You really didn't see the, the vampire's teeth sink into any neck like you did in the later films. So a lot of imagination, and, and I think it was it was really more frightening to imagine what you weren't seeing yeah. uh, than, uh, to, than to see all the blood and gore. So. Well, you know, I'm one credit away from being a minor in film. I don't I've know. Heard, I've heard that <laughs> it's very yeah, true, and uh, I did have a class on that at one time. It's it's funny. I'm one my one class away from minor in film for a guy that's barely seen any movies. It's amazing how amazing. I made that happen. But that's true. And you know, you mentioned Gunsmoke. Never seen an episode of Gunsmoke. No. I've never Marshall seen Marshall Matt it. Dillon. You're speaking a foreign language, man. No idea. You had to be no a '60s clue. child. You had to I be guess. a '60s child. But I do know the Wolf Man. I always talk about in my uh, kindergarten, first grade, even second grade years, the old school library getting the Crestwood horror books of the Universal Monsters. I don't know if you remember me checking those out. But I they do. were the bright yeah. orange. Right. Uh, I used to love those. I check them out all the time. That was back when they had your name on a card inside the book, and my name would be in there just a million times. So I go way back with these as well. Of course, you had the Aurora Monsters, and one of these days we'll do an Aurora Monsters deep dive. We'll go through them all. We'll talk about them. But that was really my first incarnations with the Wolfman and all that kind of fun stuff. Uh, so now, fast forward into 2022, Big Bad Toy Store has these. You can get these everywhere. Pretty much NECA is sold. They're slowly rolling out. We got the Mummy, the Wolfman out right now. 
Um, Frankenstein, of course, came out two versions in 2021. The ball is rolling. We got a lot of stuff coming. Uh, what is old is now new again, I guess you would say. So very cool to get these. I mean, we're going to talk about it. We're going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. I'm sure there'll be some stories along the way. Uh, but I really do like the packaging on this. I'm sure you're the same. I do. Yeah. Very, it feels, very vivid. feels like the old school movie posters back in the day. Just a fabulous, fabulous packaging. And uh, spoiler alert, you have these. Actually, I picked up a two sets, if you guys saw my figure hunting video. Got a set for my dad. He hasn't even opened his yet. He hasn't been able to bring himself to open it. Uh, he's just a mint on card guy deep at heart. They're just you? too nice. It's they too nice. nice. Like a book in the library. So you might need to get two sets. One to open and one to keep uh, in mint on card, possibly. I, I don't know. We'll see what happens. But let's take a look at the packaging on this bad boy right here. As you can see, you got the Wolfman. Uh, and then you got the list. It really does look like the movie poster. I like it a lot. And on the front, who's it say here? Got Claude Rains, friend of yours. Invisible Man. Invisible Man. There you go. Warren William. Do we know who that is? Don't know Warren. Uh, do we know Ralph Bellamy? Yeah, he was on many sitcoms in the 60s. Okay. Patrick Knowles. Not really. Don't know Knowles. Bella Lugosi. We've heard that one. Oh, boy. Wait, what did Bella Lugosi play in The Wolfman? Was he the uh, gypsy? He, he uh, was the gypsy who himself was a wolfman. Uh, and, uh, it's a curse. It's a curse. He and his uh, <laughs> offspring, I think, infected uh, our friend uh, Larry Talbot, played by Lon Chaney. It'll do it. it. It all comes full circle. Uh, then we got Maria Ospenskaya, and I believe she was in a lot of uh, movies as like Damsel in Distress and stuff in the film war days. From my film classes, I learned that. She's an icon from Hungary oh. and spoke with a Hungarian accent, and she always played a gypsy lady who... Uh, understood uh, what uh, the wolf people were going through and and maybe how to save them. And when I think of gypsies, I always think of the Bob Dylan song, Went to See the Gypsy. I don't know if you remember that no. one. One of his greats, all of his great songs. If Bob said that, it must be true. <laughs> Evelyn Anchors, I don't know if I know her either. You'd know her when you see her. Oh, okay. Well, cool. Just like Patrick Knowles, you'd know him. Uh, okay. And then Lon Chaney, obviously. The Wolf Man, uh, a young Larry Talbot, I believe was his name, right? That was his name. He was what we call that whiny, no good Larry Talbot. And we, we used to say, Larry, Larry, quit playing the victim card. <laughs> I mean, I know when the moon is full, you turn into a werewolf. Yeah. But uh, hey, look at Frankenstein. He's going to be Frankenstein 24-7. You're exactly right. All not the just time. when the moon's full. So, and Dracula, it's a curse. He's got to drink the blood. Exactly. I mean, but Larry, you're not really oppressed. It yeah. only happens when the moon's full. <laughs> That's right. Just, that, does, that happens in what? Every couple of weeks, something like that. Yeah, or whatever you know, it is. Once a month. Yeah, once a month. There you go. Side package, very cool. My plan is to keep the packaging on here, and I think you're in the same uh, mental headspace right. here, and you're going to put this like a library book. I'm going to have all these here, and maybe them all in front of that is how I'm going to go. But very cool packaging throughout. Some amazing artwork for NECA. Uh, I absolutely love this kind of stuff. Very, very cool. Very cool packaging. And let's pull them out of the pack. Well, I should say the window, too. Of course, that's the most famous thing about NECA figures, of very course. Nice. Going back, you got the cool graphics here, and then you can pull it out. So it is really great for somebody that wants to keep it mint on card. You can always just kind of look at it every once in a while and see what's going on uh, behind there. So very, very cool packaging. We'll get him out. I'm guessing we're going to have to take this offline, Dad, and uh, we do that sometimes because okay. there's a lot of twist ties. Oh, twist tie city. Uh, we got a lot of that going on here, so we're going to get it all plugged out. Let's do a little plastic prison right there. There's old Larry Talbot. Mama Talbot's favorite son, I believe, if I'm exactly. correct. I'm, I'm pretty sure. But there he is in the plastic prison. All right. Well, let's take this offline. I might need some hands and some help here, but we're going to get him out of the package. We'll be back to talk about the Wolfman. All right, we're out of the box. We've got Larry Talbot. We've got the Wolfman, and uh, we're going to have a lot of fun here. And I was telling my dad when I was unboxing this, I said, you got to make sure, usually, to put these under a hair dryer or put them in heat to kind of loosen up the joints because so many people have had a broken NECA figure right out of the gate. For me, I've, fingers crossed, never had that happen. Today could be our day because you guys know I'm an absolute wild man. I wow. open these right away. I don't go in. I don't heat them up and stuff. I probably should, but eh, what do you do? I like to live on the wild side sometimes. But let's get into it. And we got the accessories. We got everything out. A fabulous pack for what I'm seeing here so far. Just absolutely fabulous. You got a stand. You guys know I'm a sucker for a stand. And we got a stand. And I was not aware we had a stand. So that is going to be much appreciated. It's because you got to get him in crazy positions to howl at the moon, of course. Exactly. And the, uh, it's just when he comes out. That's when the fun happens. Mm -hmm. But we'll do some of these accessories first. Now, uh, we got, what is this, bear trap, wolf trap? Wolf what trap. Was, wolf trap, yes. I guess, technically. It's wolf man. Uh, very cool accessory here is there was that scene where he got caught in the movie, right? Exactly. With, uh, 
with this. A very iconic piece, and it actually does function, so uh, very cool. But obviously, you got to be a little careful with these things. Not meant for little kids. It could easily uh, break. It looks a little fragile, uh, but very cool weathering and details. Uh, is it up to your standards there? Very good. Very good. Uh, and then we do get the cane, uh, the famed cane. Do you know about this cane? Uh, Larry Talbot bought that in a, uh, in a little shop in the village where uh, he grew up. And uh, that was kind of a foreshadowing of his turning into a werewolf because they all commented on the face of the wolf on the end of this walking stick. Yep. And uh, it, it kind of led you, the viewer, to kind of understand uh, what might come, come forward. In film class, we call that foreshadowing. <laughs> That's what we call that. It's a, it's just a little film expert, you know. Right. Uh, but very good detail on this. Very good uh, decorations of the wolf here. You got a thin stick. Not, it could easily be breakable and stuff like that. But how old do you think uh, Lon Chaney Jr. was when he was filming The Wolf Man? How old? How old? I would say uh, probably in his mid thirties, somewhere in there. And it's funny how mid thirties back then, back in the day, that was kind of like the sixties now, probably sixty year old guy. Uh, just people didn't live as long, and not a lot of thirty year olds need a, a cane. Uh, so it's kind of strange. That, that's one well, of the things. It, it, that was an accessory in those days. You, you may not need it, but you, but you walked with it with your top hat. and. and we got the else. same brain. Because I was going to say the same thing because a lot of guys, of course, we are in the thick of cape season, as you know. It's oh, yeah. oh. right in the middle of cape season. You were the one that told me cape season usually goes to about mid-March when I was a kid. You say, Kyle, if we're still in cape season. Give that guy a, a break. But I think cape season may extend through March. And if you're Lando Calrissian on the shelves at your local Target... Cape season may be a year around. It might be a lifetime thing. Well, I, I have five or six of them because yes. for that time period, you need one different one each week. That's exactly right. I like your really sparkly cape that you wear. That oh, is really. That. Oh, I get a lot of comments he, on that. He does downtown. at the grocery oh, store. I mean, I can't, just can't leave me wear alone. It. Nah, yeah. I get it. But yeah, you're exactly right. So back then, you know, people were wearing their monocles. They had their top hat. They had their cape. They had their cane. It was a status thing. And I'm saying right now we need to bring this back. You've been trying unsuccessfully to bring it back for a long time, wearing your cape and uh, your cane at the grocery store, uh, your monocle every once in a while. Uh, I'm going to start working on that and try to pass it on to the next generation. So we'll see how that seems very futile out. right now. I don't does. know. I'll keep working on yeah, it. You keep working. Yeah. Keep working. Yeah. Then we get the accessories here. And one of the genius things with this pack here that I absolutely love, and I'm sure you love this mm -hmm. as well, this is truly a two-in-one figure. Absolute Wolfman Maniacs, you need three of these. You need one men in box. You need one as Larry Talbot, and you need one as the Wolfman. And I love that we get extra pieces. So you get the feet. You get the three sets or three hands, three extra hands here. Uh, we get uh, the cane holding hand. We get two open hands where he can just do like the look in the mirror and put his hands on there like a, a little Home Alone action if he wants to. And then you get the Lon Chaney Jr. head. Absolutely fabulous head sculpt. What do you think about this head? Very nice. Uh, how looks, does that, looks I mean, quite a bit like him. I always say, I always say, if you take the head off the body and you show him the head, can you tell who this is? Would you see this and say, I know who this is? I would. See, and if you're a Wolfman fan, you probably would. If you're, you know, my daughter, she'd say, uh, I don't know, is that... Uh, Uncle Jim down the street, I don't know what she'd say. Again, but it's that whiny Larry Talbot. It's that whiny Larry Talbot. Yeah. And uh, this is younger, very like mid-30s, we're thinking, Larry Talbot. And I don't know if you saw, there was, gosh, what was it? It was like a wolf man or a, a weird movie at the end of his career. Man, he, uh, the bottle, he was hitting the bottle too much. And he, he ballooned up. He looked crazy. And I saw that. I wouldn't even have recognized him. It was like late I was 70s. Called, I think it was called Man Made Monster. He something did one like in that. the 60s like that. It was but, uh, something like that. Yeah. yeah. He took a turn, I think, at playing Frankenstein, as did Bella Lugosi. But they just didn't have the look. Their nose and their facial fe features just weren't like Boris Karloff or, or Glenn Strange. But, yep. uh, but at least he doesn't have hair on his feet. That that was a gift to Larry. <laughs> that's that, a gift that's to horrible Larry. horrible right there. <laughs> So then we get down to the actual Wolfman here. And I should say we did get two heads with the Wolfman. Uh, we've got the uh, side-eye growling head, which is, oh boy, look at that side-eye. Like he's looking up to the moon or something. And then you got just kind of a resting face Wolfman. I don't know, which one do you prefer? I kind of like the, the one on the left. I, I think so, too. Yeah. I like the side-eye it, one. It's a little more... Uh... It's, it's a very interesting uh, take on the Wolfman, which I guess really this was probably the first take on the Wolfman, at least in film. I don't think there was others. Since then, there's been tons with like The Howling and uh, American Werewolf and uh, Dog Soldiers. You ever seen the movie Dog Soldiers? Probably I not. I have, no. I think no. that came out in, like around my college time. It was a British film. But you need to look up that movie. That's the scariest Wolfman movie ever. Hmm. Uh, it's about these werewolves that attack like these British army. And oh they're, they're fighting these werewolves. And it's just a new take. And I really love Dog Soldiers. So shout out to you hmm. Dog Soldier fans, you UK Wolfman fans. 
worth checking out. W worth my recommendation. I'll have to do that. Yes. Uh, but this one, very good. His iconic green work shirt. I always remind, uh, reminds me of my grandpa, uh, Grandpa Ronnie. You remember Grandpa Ronnie, I'm sure. sure. Uh, he always wore shirts like these back in the day. Oh, really? Right. He did. When yeah. he was like uh, uh, welding and whatnot, uh, he wore shirts like that. So whenever I see this, that's what I always think of. I was like, oh, that's a Grandpa Ronnie shirt. But uh, then he's got his beautiful khakis going on here. Uh, just a fashion plate, really, at the end of the day. Uh, this was all the rage in fashion. I'm sure... Uh, uh, grandpa wore these too. Uh, your grandpa, Jerry, of course, he probably wore these pants and stuff like this back in the day. Uh, I don't recall that. <laughs> he, he was much more snazzy dresser than that. He was. He was really doing the cape back then, is what you you're saying. It. He was you wearing the cape. I can see it. He was, Makes sense. He was wearing the sport coats and ties. Oh man. Oof. Oh boy. Well, I love this one. So let's talk articulation first. Obviously, the hands, the head, and the legs are removable, or I guess the ankle and feet are removable here. Uh, then you get the bend at the knee, uh, a lot of uh, twists and turns at the knee as well. So you can really get some dynamic howling at the moon uh, positions here. Uh, then you get the a or the ankles, the waist here that moves at the legs. You can almost do the splits because I think he was also a gymnast at one time. I've heard that. Um, <laughs> and then his waist moves, of course. And then the arms go up, down, all around. Single jointed elbows. Yes, single jointed elbows. Like I said, the hands are removable. I love these Wolfman hands. Uh, this is our only chance for Wolfman hands. He didn't get extra hands for the Wolfman, so I guess you got to live with these. But I'd say if I'm getting any Wolfman hands, these are the ones to get. Kind of the uh, encroaching, I'm going like to eat those. you. you Looks really good here. Got beautiful pockets sculpted into the shirt. Got the. It's funny how snazzy, like he turns into the Wolfman, but his shirt and stuff doesn't get all ripped up. It just looks real nice. I guess he's a fashion plate uh, to the end. Well, money and was tight in those days. It was. You, know, it was you had to be careful. Weren't far yeah. from the Depression. Exactly. It was a different time. A different time. Exactly. Uh, now we got the inflation depression. Don't get you started on that. Oh, Don't no. get you no. started. Mm -hmm. Don't get him started. Uh, don't get me started either. Uh, but the head moves up, down, all around, side to side. A lot of good movement here. Beautiful peering blue eyes through there. I mean, it almost looks like a puppy dog you want to pet on this one. See if I can pull this off without breaking it. Pops Whoa. off beautiful. Pretty beautiful good. pop off there. Uh, sometimes going back in, though, is where we really struggle. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit of a struggle. Those are a little hard to get in, but it's on there. That's, that's good enough for this. Nice. Oh, yeah, that's the one to do. That's the one with the old side eye. That looks like old Larry Talbot as a wolf man, <laughs> of course. <laughs> but I like it. I'm here for it. The ankle articulation. I love the inclusion of a stand, a very small stand, but I love a stand. I hope NECA continues this practice. Uh, I guess we'll find out when we open the mummy. Uh, but he does have a stand, so you can get him in the howling at the moon positions, things like that. Pretty any nice. thoughts on you? Uh, any final thoughts or any uh, thing you think about this wolf man here? No, I like it. Very, very well done. What are you going to do with yours? Are you going to open it up? Are you going to leave it in box? I haven't decided yet. I'm, I'm He's torn. doing some reorganizing, and uh, I'll cross that bridge maybe later this summer. He's got a big remodel of the house going on right now, and I guess you don't want to get any dust or anything on it uh, exactly. while they're remodeling. But, you know, at the end of the day, you're an old-school starting lineup fan, and we left those in the package. So uh, you're a mid-on-card guy where I straddle that line. I've, I've had different times in my life where I went both ways, and... Uh, I am not opposed, and it's very hard to get NECA on clearance. It doesn't happen very often, but I truly would like one more of these so I can just do a Larry Talbot figure, and I can do a regular Wolfman figure. Uh, I would like to do that. Do I you think. really want a Larry Talbot figure? I, I do. Yeah. I just feel like I need a Larry Talbot figure. Mm -hmm. and I just want people to say, hey, why do you got that guy in that uh, green and khaki? What's going on? I mean, that looks pretty good. Yeah, it does look very good. I mean, I, I, the head sculpt is amazing on this one. It looks even better on the body. I mean, that's that fabulous. That's some, that could be one of the best hood sculpts I've seen in a long, long it time. It is. I mean, it really is. They knocked this thing out of the park. I'm all here for that one. Beautiful. NECA, they never disappoint. Of course, you guys know I unbox a million NECA Ninja Turtles and a lot of other NECA stuff, but the Universal's got a special place in my heart and a special place in your heart they as do. well. Uh, so it's one of these things we're hunting down together, uh, and we're going to do the mummy here. So stay tuned. We'll do the mummy on the channel as well. He's going to stick around and do another video with me. And we're going to take it all the way to the bank. So there it is. That's Larry Talbot, uh, the Wolfman. Any final thoughts? I don't got anything else. No, I think, uh, Larry, once again, please, no victim card. No victim card. No victim. Yeah, that's Larry for you. Many people have it worse than you. <laughs> so there it is. You guys in the comments below, tell us your thoughts on the Wolfman. Uh, what's your first memory? Is it your favorite Wolfman? What's your favorite Wolfman movie? Is it Dog Soldiers? Could be. Uh, let me know in the comments down below. You made it this far. Give the video the old thumbs up. Uh, my dad came here. It deserves a thumbs up for sure. Uh, and then, of course, subscribe to the channel. Hit the old notification bell. You don't want to miss the next Universal Monster unboxing we do. Uh, spoiler 
alert, it's going to be old Boris Karloff and the Mummy. So coming soon to the channel. And then, of course, follow me on Patreon, newly launched, day one supporter right here. And then we got... Uh, <laughs> and then uh, follow me on Twitter at SirPaul64, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson, and of course, ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson, support the channel. Dad, where can they find you at? Uh, once again, I'm still on TikTok, Tom's Dance Party. Uh, yeah. Best yeah. dance moves you've ever seen, the 50s, 60s. Now maybe even seventy. Yes, I'd like. I'm waiting Not for sure. when you start really dabbling in the cardboard, putting the cardboard down, doing some break dancing. I you can't wait for those videos. Going to take some time. Wait for summertime. Hopefully, you'll knock that out of the park. But Dad, thank you for coming on the channel. Yeah, thank you. And we'll see you guys all real soon.